in 1941, the Sojourner Truth Homes were slated to be built in Detroit for African-American defense workers during World War II. In reaction to this news, an exclusive white organization was formed in an attempt to bar African-Americans from the homes. Ultimately, the tactic worked and the Housing Commission announced that the target population for the homes would instead be whites only. The news ignited the African-American community. And on January 18, 1942, a meeting was held at Calvary Baptist Church to discuss a plan to action. On February the 2nd, a victory was won. Blacks would be permitted to live in the project. In late February, having paid rent in advance, the first several African-American families prepared to move into Sojourner Truth. Upon approaching their homes, they were met by a raging mob of 700 whites who physically blocked the entrance to the site. The police, who numbered 200 and were ill-equipped to handle the situation, directed families to turn around in order to avoid trouble. Immediately, the caravan of moving trucks was attacked. Once news of the confrontation spread to the African-American communities, they in turn armed themselves and proceeded to the site. Within moments, a riot had taken over the Sojourner Truth Homes. Over the next two days, over 1,000 whites continued to barricade the site. For several weeks, the NAACP, Detroit housing officials, and federal administrators in Washington, D.C., negotiated to resolve the situation. Finally, on April 29, 1942, after two months, the first African-American residents moved into their homes. There comes a time in the life of every community when it must look honestly and seriously into its past in order to provide the best possible foundation for moving into a future based on healing and hope. In the race to equity, the truth leads to solution. Join the efforts of Metro Detroit's Truth and Reconciliation Commission as they examine racial inequity in Detroit.